So you're a Microsoft user, huh? You're at your job, you're stuck with using Outlook, Outlook Calendar, and you can't really get outside the Microsoft ecosystem. Well, let's make your life suck a little bit less using this setup. So first and foremost, if you are in the browser version of Outlook, what I would really recommend that you do is you go to the top right here and utilize this little trick, more tools, create shortcut, and then I'm gonna rename this Outlook Web, and then open as new window. And what this does is it allows you to have a little shortcut and have a window that essentially takes that Outlook web option and makes it a application. And what this lets you do is it actually lets you integrate a little bit better with some of the different features that exist within the Outlook ecosystem. Because as you can see here, there's all these other connectors, right? We have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, and other apps. And one really quick thing that you can do is if you right click and go to advanced actions, you can either create a rule, which is obviously very nice for cleaning different things up, but we can press create task here. And what does that do? That quickly adds a task into your to-do list. Now, what does that connect to? That connects to your Microsoft to-do, which is one of the most underrated task management apps out there. It's free if you have the Microsoft suite. It connects directly with Outlook. And if I check it off here, it'll obviously disappear from here because it's not there anymore. And what's really nice about this like web app version is that you can look at this from a calendar only, a tasks only, and so you can quickly have your calendar, your tasks, and your email all in one spot while also having quick links to the different things within the suite. So if I press PowerPoint here, it'll open up a prompt to connect to all the PowerPoints that are connected with the account that I'm on. And the same goes for the Excel documents and even OneDrive too. So you can see this is like my personal OneDrive that's within here. And if we wanna connect to any other applications like OneNote, which is something I definitely recommend that you guys connect in here, we'll see that OneNote is gonna be synced right here as well. Now, something that I will say about the OneNote app is it is not as good as it used to be. You know, once they got away from the Windows 10 version, it is a little bit worse. However, it is connected and synced this way, which is convenient. So anything that you do within note-taking application process in here will be synced to your OneDrive, which is what you see here. And something that you can actually do within here is if I take this example homework task, say you're a student using this suite, and I click on this and press Outlook tasks, I can press today within that, and what this will do is, if you're logged in correctly to that business account, unfortunately you can't do this with a personal account, which is decently frustrating. It would, in theory, connect, if I put today, to today and the task section of your Microsoft to-do. You could also set it to other things like tomorrow, this week, next week, no date. So if I press open task in Outlook, you see it doesn't work because it doesn't work for personal accounts. However, this is obviously more of a business and student catered video. You also have the option to quickly email this page out and see your different meetings right here. Also in this Outlook, you can go here to the calendar page and you'll see that I have a little bit of a setup here that is from the Microsoft boards that they made last year. And you're able to take these and kind of create a setup that makes sense for you. So like you can put an arbitrary goal here. I can delete this really quick and just showcase some more examples. So I can like drag this as a hyperlink. I had a logo that was put here. I have the weather, I have quick note section, and then I have this task section here. So this is actually a really nice setup for having Having your calendar and your tasks right next to each other and then you can switch back between these two which in this case you know you can have your email here switch back to your task section or as mentioned earlier you know you can have that task section on the right this also can change down into a drop down that will pick from all the different lists that you have within microsoft to do and the different things like my day which is just like a built-in list that exists to filter to your day. Well, Microsoft may be one of the clunkier looking applications. It does have a lot of great built-in functionality. If you have any questions on how this setup could work for you more, please comment them down below. And also check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.